Hey everybody, there's the sign, the sign of quality, the mark of quality around here. Uh, feeling okay today, hungover, yes, had my coffee, so it's not quite so bad. What, uh, we have uh, an album for what I can tell about flower arranging and then woo, got some babes. This ought to bring in the views. This episode is all about the babes, or is it? That's kind of a babe there. She's in a pantsuit, but that sort of, that kind of counts. Uh, this, on the other hand, I don't, nah, never mind. Something or other checkup. But then, um, here comes an album by Arabesque. Whatever the hell that is. Maybe before my time. Uh, and then, uh, Kate Winslet. You know, she's kind of a babe. Redhead, kind of knockout. She was, uh, she went topless in that film. Paint me like one of your French girls. Even though I don't like that movie, I don't really like Titanic. Uh, I'm kind of hit or miss, like the first handful of James Cameron movies I love, and then, um, although James Cameron did not direct The Sound of Music, but I hear he's thinking about doing a remake where all everyone in the Von Trapp family, they go to outer space and die. Major League, good movie. Charlie Sheen, right? That's the one with Charlie Sheen, right? Wow, thing, dun, 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 dun. And this, I don't know what the hell this is, but for some reason it looks communist. Am I alone in that? It looks like, let's all support the party and everything. Uh, moving right along. So much vinyl. So much, wait, wait a minute. Oh my god! Okay, whoa. That was, that one snuck up on me. That was, oh, I gotta, gotta catch my breath here. I gotta, maybe we have a thing, whatever this is. Okay. Oh, geez, I really need to maybe play this stuff back, review it before I, I sit down and, and, and record these things like this. That really, that, I was not ready. I was not ready for the Streisand. Next time I'll be ready for her. Um, as we're looking at, what is the techn the term for these? What are the size, like, right? Because you refer to records by their size, right? What's, what are these tiny little records? Are these like singles or something? I don't know what the hell those are. Uh, Henry Kissinger made an album, I guess. Whatever, it, I don't know. Uh, and then, of course, Neil Sadako. Who could forget that classic by Neil Sadako? EPs. These are EPs. And then these are not EPs. These are um, laser discs. So we got some Lupin the Third. Got us some anime on laser disc. That's nice. And then uh, okay, whatever else. Steve Martin, I guess. Uh, okay, ET. Classic Spielberg. Spielberg, on the other hand, you know, Cameron movies for me, hit or miss. Spielberg. You can always you can always count on Spielberg pretty much. With Cameron, it's like Terminator, awesome. Aliens, awesome. Terminator 2, who can complain about that? Um, True Lies is just freaking brilliant. Um, but then, you know, I don't really like Titanic. And then, uh, I guess maybe some stuff after that. I don't know. Like, those first 20 years of, of James Cameron are flawless. Won't be long. Uh, cool. We have some like little cassette tapes and other things like that. Tube. You're gonna catch a tube, bro! Caught my first tube this morning. And then the, this uh, cute little chick. Chow. And then this little dude. Whoever he is. I don't know. Rocking hair, though. I held on to that for some reason. Where am I going? I didn't even look at a single video game yet. Isn't that what I normally do in this stuff? Where, when does that come into play? We got a bunch of old ass cameras here. And uh, lenses and things like that. I wonder how long this stuff stays on these shelves. Because um, I'd be willing to bet like most of this stuff has just been here uh, just forever. Because all this old equipment here, it's all marked as junk. So, I mean, what's the purpose? Fix it up and... Uh, well, I guess some people do like to collect. I mean, look at me, I'm a retro game collector, so I'm in this junk aisle. I guess maybe there are collectors out there that focus on things like... 
old cameras and old, uh, I don't know, VCRs, laser disc players and things like that. This is just a bucket of PlayStations. Where did, where did he get a bucket of PlayStations? And uh, other various junk consoles. So I, I, I guess, uh, yeah, being the uh, game collector I am, I can see the appeal of that. If you're uh, if you're savvy with repairs, I guess you can go buy yourself some old consoles and uh, fix them up. We also have some old uh, strategy guides here that they're just getting rid of. This is all Final Fantasy stuff. There's some other things in there as well, uh, so you can go and buy these old strategy guides for like you know a hundred yen a piece. Uh, hey, look, it's me. Hello, with my hair all messed up because it was humid and I was walking around all day. It even got rained on a little bit. Uh, that's fun. That's, that's the fun thing about my hair, is you never know what the consistency is going to be. It all depends on the climate itself. That's the, the, Those people are the true victims of climate change. Hello, Clarice. The people with hair that gets easily, uh, you know, easily frizzed out in the heat and the humidity. Where are the real victims here? Full metal jacket. I actually just watched that again the other night. Classic film. That's the one, you know, I, I, I was talking about directors, you know, uh, Cameron and um, whoever. And hey, another one, uh, Verhoeven. So I can say that I've never seen a, a, a Stanley Kubrick movie that I didn't like. And I've never seen a Paul Verhoeven movie that I didn't like. Uh, those are two guys that for me have like a 100% success rate. Alien 3. Who, who did Alien 3? Was that Rennie Harlan? That was like his first movie. He'd been directing, like, music videos and stuff. I actually don't hate uh, Alien 3. Uh, I know uh, some people are like, oh, this movie sucks, it's crappy, and it's black sheep, whatever. Um, and then we have Alien Resurrection, which it says Alien 4 there on the, on the spine. Um, Resurrection is really stupid, but uh, not a bad movie either. Who the... Wait, who directed... Who directed... Um, Resurrection, that was another person that just did a whole bunch of, I don't know what they did, but uh, the visual style of it, like the camera angles and the camera movement and everything was at least pretty cool. As we're looking at video games, which is the supposed purpose of this channel. We got a bunch of 100 yen games here with writing all over them. and I mean, these all these cartridge games, you know, you never know if they're going to work or not. Some of them just need a good cleaning up, really. And some PS1 games, including some Yu-Gi-Oh! All that stuff, like... Uh, usually a lot of RPGs, everything that's sold extremely well is like the stuff you're gonna find for next to nothing in here, especially stuff like this based on these really popular properties of anime like Yu-Gi-Oh! and One Piece and all that stuff. If you're a big fan of those um, like properties and you want to collect some of those games, like you come on a trip to Japan, just make one stop at a hard off. You'll probably find like all of them. You can probably just walk out, you know, bring you know, a couple thousand yen with you and you'll walk out with, you know, a bag full of those games. Because uh, all this stuff is a hundred yen. And, um, uh, Puyo Puyo Sun. Fantastic. It's like my favorite Puyo Puyo. And, uh, it's right there in a junk bin. Um, and, uh, IQ Final. The, I think, Japan exclusive sequel to Intelligent Cube. Um, yeah, a lot of this stuff, the disc games, I mean, they're not going to be in, like, the best condition, obviously. And uh, some of them like this, like maybe they won't have a manual, in which case I would skip because I would at least want it to have a manual. But usually it's just like the discs are a little scratched up. But uh, a lot of these, it's just, you know, the game, there's, it's such abundance that you're not going to put all these copies of these games out on the shelf. You can just throw them in junk, honestly. They have, you know, many multiple copies of baseball stars and golf and uh, stuff like that. That isn't exactly flying off the racks these days. Even get yourself some Sega Pico games. I don't know why I'm talking like that. This is no longer a um, no junk. This is uh, this is now my voice demo reel. This is my voice demo reel. What? what uh, put a little extra timber in your voice, and you can sound like a gruff. Mean old man, that's one of my favorites to do. I like answering the phone like this. Hello, who's this? Uh, is Jim there? No, he's not. And he ain't coming back. Um. <laughs> PS2 games. Uh, again, stuff like this, like Naruto. 
Stuff like this sold like hotcakes. Naruto was such a huge property. Super popular anime and everything else. Dragon Ball Z. That's more my speed. I was a kid when Dragon Ball Z was just starting to become popular. Maybe in like around 1997, I think, was like my first exposure to Dragon Ball Z. So uh, that, that was nice. But yeah, by the time Naruto rolled around... I was a teenager, and I was more interested in uh, music, girls, and the wacky tabacky. Um, anyway, yeah, so I didn't, I did get into Naruto. I was too busy doing other things. Here is an old Toei Super 8 projector. So that's cool. So there's a bunch of projectors over here. So if you really want a Super 8 projector, buddy, you got it. You got it, buddy. You got the projector! Um, and then a bunch of other stuff that I don't know what it is exactly. And then a big aisle full of whatever. Um, cash registers and uh, other things. Uh, I. Okay. <laughs> We've reached that point of the video where I'm just like, hey, a rotary phone! Alright! Hey, that's great! Hey, the video turned itself around. I was like, alright, cash registers. That doesn't make me happy. Rotary phone! And hey, my sister's CD player from 2000 is here. That's a nice little surprise. Bunch of car stereos, some um, musical equipment, Pearl and Tama, two best, and uh, an actual owned by Ozzy Osbourne uh, guitar case. Lovely. And, uh, uh wow. This is uh, this old grandpa's records players and grandpa's guitars. That's Squizcar. Don't you know Squizcars? Uh, anyway, hey, a loot. Squizgar never played the loot. And Broken Shamisen. Wow. This place really has it all. Uh, anyway, that's it. That's going to do it for this edition of Hard Off Junk. I hope you enjoyed checking out my junk. See you later.